What's up guys, Prox here and welcome back for part 2 of product creation, this Vengeance 2000 headset. I went and got myself some water. And uh, let's uh, let's carry on with the modeling. Uh, should probably look at my headset a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, it's not curving in there. It's pretty straight. Furthermore, I'm going to carry on with this piece that I had down here. Uh, let's select this bottom part and so now uh, scale it in with holding shift so we scale it inwards yeah and I'm, I'm thinking if I could do this with multi sub object I'm think because I'm thinking about kind of uh, how I'm gonna apply the materials that's that's really important think about how you'll apply your materials and uh, sort of work from there. And I think I, I think I can do this with multi sub objects. So I'm gonna keep this at the same object. Well, then I won't get that shaded line, that shaded line. So that's 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 kind of annoying. I'm not I'm not completely certain about that. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna separate them. Why not? Then I don't need to select all the polygons and mark them and uh, do all that kind of stuff. You know, I don't need to set up uh, material ID and stuff like that. It's only gonna be this in the scene, so having multiple models won't really affect. Won't really affect it. So how, what I did there was I selected the polygons and I held down shift and I dragged it down. That's what happens when you have polygons selected instead of lines. So select all the polygons, they're probably already selected. Click on flip and I uh, guess uh, hold, sh hold shift while you select these lines and move them down uh, like so and bridge them and then select the outer ring and uh, scale it out a little bit just a tidgy smidge as they say a tiny amount tiny tiny amount don't worry we'll get back to it later um, if it's not perfect now we'll get back to it later yeah all right and the edge you know the little crease between there is not that big it's barely visible so I'm going to move this almost right up under it. Okay. And I'm also noticing now that I'm looking at the model that this part right here is too wide. It's a little bit smaller. And this has to be flattened just slightly. And that means that this has to come down as well. Okay, yeah, looking good. Looking good. Now, modeling the sort of uh, cup area. Uh, kind of skeptic to that right now. I'll do that later. Let's uh, get on with base modeling and model the. Uh, the sort of connector that goes to the uh, headset, you know, that, what's it called? The thing that goes over your head with your headset. I can't remember. I can't remember what's it called. I know, I know I knew it before, but I can't remember the name for it right now. Typical me, huh? So I'm wondering if I should do this with box modeling or if I should do this with, uh, yeah, I'll just do it with box modeling at first. You know, box modeling, box modeling will solve anything. <laughs> so I'm just gonna create a box. 
Uh, you can do anything with box modeling if you're you know if you don't know what you want to do, if you don't know how to do stuff, or what kind of technique you want to use, use the box modeling technique because it will save your ass so many times you don't even know. So yeah, let's get right to it. Let's find uh, about the center here. It seems to be, and this is cut off. Right there. Oops. Rotating that view is not smart. And it's uh, kind of noticed that this is a little bit too up there. And this kind of follows the lines. That. Hmm. Hmm. Thinking. Hmm. Yeah. This goes to the back. Quite a bit. And this part is a little bit shorter. However. complicated shape right here so I'm going to extrude this out and select the polygons at the back here and move them up not too far sort of right on the money it's when I look at it it's actually dented in Wow, I didn't think of that before. It's actually dented into this sort of dome piece. And we're going to have to work out a way to detail that later. Later, right? But not now. Now it's not important. Right now we're dealing with this. And um, after that, we'll just do a regular extrude. That goes to the edge of this. Yeah, we should probably segment it, connect it once, like so. Move it down, move it down. Because it really actually follows this pretty perfectly. And after that, goes on the outside here it extrudes again sort of oh what happened there I lost my selection of course extrudes again I don't really care what the angle of that is and uh, does it get smaller yes it actually does get quite amount smaller quite the amount smaller mm. 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 <coughs> so this is sort of a separate thing that goes down like back there. What I'm doing now is you're probably confused why I'm not talking that much. I'm basically just looking a lot at the the headset that I have uh, in front of me here, and I'm just sort of judging um, the sizes of stuff and, and things like that. And uh, that, that's basically. That's, a, that's kind of stuff that you have to do a lot. You kind of have to live with that. And I see here
with this that I've sort of fooled myself into thinking that that is really curved. However, it's not. And I need to fix that straight away. Because that will screw with my model a lot. Like a lot. Like a lot. So I'll move that in. Basically, nah, I'm not sure if I straighten it completely. Yeah, straighten it. Straighten it out. Flatten it off. Probably uh, align these just to make it sh make sure that it's completely flat, and then I'll have to uh, select this part, move it back a bit. And uh, if you look around, yeah, it's gonna be curved in here as well. Uh, really, let me. That'll be an easy fix. You could probably do that with the turbo smooth. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Put that on hold for now. I'll select this. Move it up a little bit. I'm, I'm looking at the model and it's not quite there and then we'll just easily symmetry this come on body symmetry get the right axis flip it select the mirror move it over so that it matches about the same position Convert it to an editable poly. And then we're going to uh, reset the X form, reset selected, and effect pivot only and align it with the center of the object. Oh, forgot to convert it to an editable poly. There we go. Then we're going to select these and extract them even more and there seems to be equal distance between the two like so and that'll be the top of our sort of piece here I'm not 100% certain how long I've been going for now so uh, yeah I'm gonna cut it off here thanks you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video